Hey guys, Panda back with you. Today we're going to talk about battery voltage. And I'm going to use Rad Mini as a comparison because there is no actual voltage adjustment on here that shows the voltage. You only have the power bar right here. Okay, now right now it says we are on three bars out of five. So what I'm going to do is show you how to actually manually check the voltage on the battery using a voltage multimeter. Okay, be back here in just a second. Oh, while you're waiting on the other part of this, look at this fresh bread I just made. Fresh out of the oven. It's not sourdough. It's this regular, uh, you know, yeasted, standard yeasted bread. Beautiful bread to go with the goulash. All right, guys, be back with the uh, checking the battery part here in just a second. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how you check the voltage on your battery. Same applies to the electric. First thing you want to do is very carefully locate the terminals here, okay? Look at it. Uh, use a magnifying glass if you have to, but they should be marked plus and a minus. In this situation, the right side is a plus, the left side is a minus. The main big holes right here, okay? Also, make sure you have the key in. You turned your battery on. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a multimeter. A lot of you guys are familiar with these. Red lead for positive, black lead for negative. This is a DC battery, meaning direct current. You're going to find the direct current setting on your multimeter. In this case, mine's up here. Now, I'm not going to go 20 volts. I use 20 volts for, like, my car battery. When I'm checking my car battery and checking to make sure the alternator is charging the battery, which you can do actually, while your car is running, stick the corresponding you know, piece on your battery, red to positive, black to negative. And if you get a reading uh, while your car is running of like say 13 point some odd up to 14 something volts, that means that your alternator is working. But this is a 48 volt battery. So we're gonna come down to the next highest number, 200, okay? So what we're gonna do, now keep in mind, the uh, bike said it had three bars. So very carefully, I'm gonna insert these into both prongs both holes on the battery, okay? And it's gonna show us what our voltage is. Don't force them. I'm just holding it steady. Now you can see right here, right? Got roughly 47 volts. Now the battery fully charged is gonna be about 54.6. This is also another way to check if your meter readout is right on your bike and if maybe you're having some problems with your charger. So the bike readout showed three bars. Well, that's not really accurate because the bike only has five bars. And at 47 volts, you are pretty much down Fifty percent at least. Okay, I mean, give or take, you know, it's close enough. But do not base your travel ability on that little power bar. You know that you wait to come down. You could end up stranded if you do that. So this is a very easy way how you check your battery. And while you're at it, you know, check the terminals. Be very careful about everything. Check for any damage any debris, any rust, any moisture, clean everything up. If need be, uh, get yourself some contact cleaner, you know, designed for wire connectors and ends and clean things up. But if you're being careful, you shouldn't have to really worry about it. But it's a good idea to pull everything out and check it out once in a while, okay? But yeah, that's a very quick tutorial, how you check the actual voltage on your battery. You know, 
I had a, a battery charging video where we talk about certain things. And once again, I will emphasize while you are charging that battery, do not turn the power on on the battery to check things out on the bike. You know, in the free case, you get like a power surge or something screwed up with your charger. You don't want all that juice and that extra whatever might happen going to all the other components on the bike. Your LED readout, your controller, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, play it safe. Do it right. These batteries have no memory. If you really got to turn the power on while you're charging the bike, unplug the charger from the wall outlet before you turn the bike on to check shit out. You're not going to hurt the battery. The batteries have no memory. You can plug it right back in. All right. So very simple tip there. Just be careful what you're doing. Happy riding, guys. Keep safe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.